Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are headed out, it is early. We have a lot of things to do today. Um, we were gonna shoot a riding day dares video with Gabby and Storm and Tex and Kaylee, but that got veto. Are you missy Good. should we call you the egg girl oh easy mac it all gone yeah she looks like levi if you guys haven't seen i have pictures on my instagram of levi eating eggs and he always so has we're a messy going taste. to the barn first no i am five feet oh, five you feet oh okay well even yeah. without the heels though i'm five feet nine Five feet nine, you guys. I'm like, I'm a tall I'm girl. Like five foot three or five and foot And Gabby four. is like a three quarters of a head shorter than me. Yeah, that happened. That happened overnight, it feels like. It is eight degrees and we are headed to the trailer. We haven't closed it up. It's the last weekend. We have to go and close it up. When you're close to the beach and close to the lake, it is so much colder. So we are all warmed up here. What the heck is that on my hair? Whoa, whoa. This truck is so bouncy. Um, when we had our last golden doodle, she loved Sam, just wanted to be with Sam. She loved the beach, she loved swimming, and when Sam, wherever Sam was, that dog was. She, she loved the snow, like loved the snow. And Ruby is not that dog. Um, Ruby loves the snow though, she, she does, loves the snow. Yeah, she does like the snow, but she, she chooses between Gabby and Sam. Like, I feel like she loves Gabby a little more because Gabby's there all the time. But every day, Sam says, come on, Ruby, let's go outside and work in the tractor. Or, come on, Ruby, let's go outside. And Ruby stands stock still and says, like, I'm not going out there. And he looks, she looks back to see if Gabby's anywhere. And Sam says, oh, let's go. And she's like, fine. And she goes outside. And the minute Sam's back is turned, she runs hops over the fence into the dog area, goes to the back door where we let her in, and barks for Gabby to come and let her in. <laughs> yeah, she abandoned Sam all the time. What do you think about that? Trying to get a new dog. <laughs> yeah. I knew I should have got okay, my I'll Irish wolfhound. Yeah, and Gabby said. She's a horse dog. Yeah. She jumps four feet, like we measured, and she jumps four feet. She could probably jump higher. Yeah. Um, she jumps four foot from a standstill. Yeah, this girl is a dorse, and she's also a kid dorse. She's not a, she's not a grown up man dorse. She would probably, because Gabby and Sophie play with her all day. How much do you play with that girl? He lays oh, down with her. Right. He does, he does lay down with her on the ground and cuddle with her, and he spends time with her, and he's the one like that did a lot of her training and stuff, but yeah, she, she prefers Gabby, who spends every second he, with her, and Sophie, yeah. She's riding with me, she follows yeah. me around. Yeah. Pack up inside. Yeah, because you don't want to inflate the floaty. Deflate the floaties. Ooh, Shayla, should be... Shayla should be. Yeah, here, but huh? should we take the water cooler too? No, we don't need the water cooler. All right, go help deflate the floaties. Yeah. Operation deflate the floaties. Oh, oh, out of that thing, yeah. Um, we have so much toilet paper here. It'll be nice. I won't even have to buy toilet paper this week. Operation deflate the floaties. See, see where Ruby is. Oh, now she sees Sam. She's she's under she's undecided. She hasn't chosen yet. Ruby. Oh. <laughs> well, that was the end of that. Anyway, uh, girls are working on that. I'm not gonna lie, I do not want to do the outside stuff. I do no, not want to do the deflating of the deflate of the inflatables. But basing on what I'm seeing here, I think that the girls are not doing the. Oh, it's too hard. <laughs> yeah, I give them the worst jobs. <laughs> I've been busy packing up everything. I looked at the window and just bust out laughing. I don't know what happened to make them stop, but the girls found such an innovative way to deflate the stuff. I heard all this laughing and then I looked outside and the girl <laughs> were finding the, the, the laziest way to deflate. I love and it. You have to pinch it. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby does all the hard work and Sophie, Sophie just lays there. Sophie was doing this the whole time. Oh, then. so you're just taking a turn. Just like a big sister. She uh, makes the little sister do all the work and then she jumps in at the last minute to make it look like she was doing all the work. <laughs> this is why having a husband is so important. We're closing up the trailer and I just get to stand here playing on my phone and watching the tap. When it turns pink, I have to turn them off.
that's my job. Super easy. Okay, it's pink. Uh oh. Now it's not pink. Uh oh. It was pink for a minute and then it stopped. All right, we are headed down to the beach to say goodbye one last time. We have Shayla here with us. Is that okay, Shayla? We have Shayla here with us to say, uh, Shayla is our barn. Wait, Shayla is our riding trailer friend, right? <laughs> We're gonna take some pictures down at the beach. Look how pretty. Like seriously, this is the beach that would be amazing to take our horses to. but those swans are coming so close. Wait, look at it. Yeah, like it doesn't look close, but they're like so close. Uh oh, look. That's how close. Selfie's freaking out. Gabby and Shayla are like, whoa, we gotta pet them. And Gab Selfie's like, they're gonna attack. <laughs> I think we should go back. I think you look so good in pink. I love these jackets. That must be like a mama and a daddy and a baby. See how one is little? Aw, they're so cute though. We are headed home and I'm gonna show you guys um, all about what happened with Storm this week, why we're not riding them, and um, what we're gonna do about it. But, but I wanted to also say that yesterday I did like a rant video. I realized when I was watching back the footage that all I did was complain the whole entire day. I just have been feeling so overwhelmed this last um, week with all the things that have been happening and you all have set me straight. I feel so much better. Um, and because of all the stuff that I expressed in our video, I had so many people reach out to us, even local people and make, jeez, why, what happened? Why did you do that? He didn't see a car. A bright orange car it's coming. Orange. I was vlogging and I saw the car coming. I saw trees and orange. We almost died, time. you guys. We almost yeah. died. That was great. That was Freeze so great. We didn't, wouldn't have died. We have a yeah, we have a big truck. Sam's new attitude with this truck is like, get out of my way because I got a big truck. Now I have the name and the address and the number of like the best saddle fitter in our area that I didn't even know existed. And we are on our way to getting a new saddle for Storm. Um, so stay tuned for all of that because that's going to be a really fun video to make. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, well, he's right by the gate today and he's freezing. How come everybody's got a blanket and not you? Are you cold? He's, he's like, cold he has been cold. yeah. Hello, handsome. He's like, I know you got something. I smell it. I got a bag of apples. It is cold. Here comes Tex too. Well, well, how come you have no blanket on? He's cold. That's why, because he has oh. no hair. Yeah. Tex. So, basically when he's at the back of the field, he doesn't come running, but it's, he's at the front. He's, I feel like he missed us today. It's when he knows that I'm not gonna get a different horse. But he's like, okay, I'll okay. come. The only horse who's not coming is Stella. Look, the only horse who's not coming is Stella. Dad, I think you guys are flying followers the leader. I got a follower. I got a couple followers. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting over me. Stella. Coming to get you, Stella. There's lots of grass here. Look at all the grass. Stella, hey. So it's trying to run away on us. If you come to work often, then you'll know that she does every day. Good girl. You need to bring your treats and trainer. Let tomorrow be 
Okay, so it's cold, and I took our blankets into the store to get cleaned and repaired. And because they took it just before Thanksgiving, the people, the people who take the blankets had already been there, so I had to wait two extra weeks, plus an extra week because of Thanksgiving or something like that, I don't know. So our horses have no warm blankets to wear. So I'm checking out our rubber maid, and I have, that is Storm's huge, heavy blanket. And then I have, um, this is like a stable sheet. So I have one stable sheet. So is that only for in the, like can they wear these outside or is it only for in the barn? Like that would be warmer than a rain sheet. And then I have, I don't even know what the heck this is. Stable sheet. Okay, so we had two old stable sheets. No. One for Storm and one for Stella. Check it out. Okay. So this is the hood that goes with that blue blanket underneath there. Okay, put it back in there. Yeah, so we have like a shortage of blankets. We have more blankets than this, I'm sure of it. Um, we have like a cooler at home. Man, we need to go get new blankets. The Royal Winter Fair cannot come fast enough for, our, for us. What? About Storm, saw that his back is sore, like it's not super sore. Um, it's actually not even his back, it's more back here in his pelvis area. And what happened, I don't think we even told you guys what happened. But what, Did she say it was right here? No, but what ended up happening was that um, Gabby rode him and he did awesome and he was amazing just like he always is. Not even a sign of throwing a fit. And then I sat on him and the minute my butt hit the saddle, he turned around really slow and he looked at me and that's the kind of horse he is. He would tell me before he would ever throw a fit. And I bet you that's what and most horses are like. Start tossing head and like, oh, yeah. what? I bet you that's what most horses are like. And then they get ignored, 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 ignored. And then that's why they start throwing fits. But anyway, and we know Storm so well that as soon as I said, like, he's staring at me like, what the heck? Like, you're a lot heavier than Sophie, so than yeah. Gabby. So then I made it like three quarters of the way around the arena and he was going like this and I said, there's something wrong. Like, I, I'm not riding him, I'm getting off. And then our instructor said, yep, you get off. Like, you need to get off. And I got off and um, yeah, his, his pelvis is a little sore, just out of alignment. She thinks it's because Gabby rides funny yeah, and he's a good for, horse for adjusting. Yeah, so right. anyway, um, at the old barn, the chiropractor came every month and he got adjusted a lot, I think three times in the last, like just before we left, he got adjusted a lot. Um, so anyway, it was kind of a good thing to happen because um, now we're at the new barn, I'll have to make all the appointments, I had to arrange the farrier, I had to arrange the chiropractor, so just all sorts of good um, things for me to get in the habit of so that I know what I'm doing. So yeah. Uh, we can ride him. I mean, I can't ride him. Gabby can ride him, but um, no jumping. Right, Gabby? Yeah. Watch him pick up his foot for me. Good boy. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.